Hello and welcome. Um, I'm just testing out this cube cell some more. Uh, since last time I've added in two bolts to the top to connect up the positive and negative plates and I've done some adjusting to the plate spaces. Uh, basically all of the plates that have got a connection, a positive or negative connection, are just going perfectly straight up and down. They're not really bent in any way at the top or the bottom. Then the neutral plates, of which there is two in between, each um, positive, and positive and negative, are bent so that at the top they're leaning towards the, the um, positive or negative plate. I don't know if you can make that out. That one right in the middle is a pretty good one to, to see there. You can see how that's doing that. And then as it goes down the bottom, the plates go the other way. Uh, but not to the extreme extent as they do up the top. They're a little bit more evenly spaced. And basically I just uh, got it to that kind of point and then watched it and bent it a bit more closer or further apart depending on uh, what the bubbles were doing. Uh, I did notice that the, the negative side, which is the side we're looking at, um, tended to work a bit better. So I was able to push those plates a bit closer together. The bubbles were finer, but just in general, they seem to be getting more off the negative plates. So yeah, I'm going to put that in now and uh, give it a whirl so you can see how it's going. It's sitting on about 8 amps in this water that's in here at the moment. All the tests I do on this video will be at 8 amps. Okay, she's hooked up and ready to try it out. Turn it on. As you can see, there's a vast improvement on last time. sitting yep, right smack on 8 amps can't see the cell through the top at all it's a lot of foggy water okay so I've um, taped this up about as uh, good as I can on both sides made sure it went into the grooves and stuff so put that in there. Walk it up a bit so that it's not touching the ground. Okay, there's a bit of a gap at the bottom. I'll turn that on. Okay, that's on eight amps. Yeah, it's doing pretty well. Um, whether it's doing better or worse than what it was without the tape, I think I'll have to go back and look at the other video. But it's certainly clouding up alright. It may come down to a bubble check. I'll have to wait and see. But that is sitting right on 8 amps. I just wanted to um, quickly revisit uh, my U-cell here, just so I can do a comparison at 8 amps, just to see how it compares to the other cell. It's, it's doing okay. It's sitting, yep, sitting right on 8 amps. but I don't think it's doing as well as the other cell. Not quite. It is clouding up, alright, but not as quickly as the other cell. Still pretty happy with this cell though. It also uses quite a lot less um, lie than um, the other cell does. The other cell needs quite a lot more in the water. I'm using um, 
caustic soda now, otherwise known as lye or sodium hydroxide or whatever it's called. Um, yeah, you don't need anywhere near as much of it as what you do with baking soda. But you don't really want to be using it at high water temperatures, so you've got to kind of keep an eye on that. Make sure your water isn't going to be running too hot. So yeah, that's that for now. Next step will be to seal up the container and uh, do a bubble check with a couple of these different cells. Till then, I'll see you later.